First, we need to set up the character with each part on a different layer. It is important to label the layers according to Duik. Label them head, left underscore arm, left underscore forearm, left underscore hand, etc. There is more information on the Rainbox website. Once we open After Effects, we need to import our character. Double click in the project panel or go to File, Import, File. Make sure that you import it as a composition while retaining layer sizes. Double click on the composition to load it into the timeline. We have the same character that we previously set up in Illustrator. We will change the composition settings to 1920 by 1080 and make the composition five seconds long. Now we will install Duik. You can download it from Rainbox Productions. In a browser, navigate to the site, select Tools, and then Download. You have the option of downloading a zip archive, a Mac installer, or a Windows installer. The installers are great if you have administrative rights on your computer since Duik acts as a native part of After Effects. For students and others who do not have administrative rights, the zip archive is a great option. You just need to load the script each time you use it. Now go back to After Effects. Go to File, Scripts, Run Script File. Navigate to the script file and open it. In Preferences, you need to check the box that says Allow Scripts to Write Files and Access the Network. Duik will ask you to do this the first time you run the script. The main downside of loading the script file rather than installing it is that the panel is not a dockable panel. That is okay since we have all the functionality we need. Since we have the character set up on different layers and labeled according to Duik's labeling conventions, we just need to change the anchor points of the layers before auto-rigging. To do that, use the Pan Behind tool. Select it from the tool palette or press the Y key. Zoom in and press the spacebar to toggle the hand control to pan. Move the anchor points to the place where each part of the body will rotate naturally. Do this for the head, the neck, arms, torso, pelvis, and legs. Notice that the arms of this character are both in the front. I made this file this way so it would be easy to move the anchor points. Now select the right arm layers and move them to the back. In order to auto-rig the character, select all of the layers, then select auto-rig, plantigrade, and check that the layers match up with Duik. This character does not have a tail, so make sure to select none for the tail. Now Duik will do its magic. Press the V key, and now we have a rigged character with inverse kinematics. Sometimes a joint will bend the wrong way. To fix this, select the controller for the joint, then go to Window, Effects Controls, and toggle the direction. Once the character is rigged with Duik, you can add extra controllers for more precise control. Remember to open the script file, and then in the main interface, select controllers. Select big, red, then click create. Move this controller to the side of the character, and then use the pan behind tool to move the controller's anchor point to the center of the character. Next, select controller, medium, cyan, then click create. Move this controller to right below the hands to act as a sky or hand controller. Next, select controller, medium, green, then create. Move this controller to right below the feet to act as a ground or foot controller. Make sure to rename the controllers in the timeline. Parent the ground and sky controllers to the master. Parent the hips controller to the master. Unshy the layers and scroll to the bottom. Unlock the zero controllers. Pair the two feet zeros to the ground. Pair the two hand zeros to the sky. Lock the layers again. Now you can use the foot controller to move the feet as a pair or use the sky controller to move the hands as a pair. You can use the master controller to move or rotate the character and it will remember the positions of the sky and the ground. This can be very convenient when animating. Now that the character is rigged and we have the master controllers of our choice, we do not need Duik now. We can always open it again later. Select all the layers, press and hold the Alt or Option key, and press P. This automatically adds a keyframe and twirls out the position. Continue to hold the Alt or Option key, then press and hold Shift, then press R. This will automatically add a keyframe for rotation. Move your playhead along the timeline and begin animating.